This man still had his complete outfit and his equipment beside him. He held a whip handle in his right hand, and next to his head, the bridles of a horse hung from a wooden peg. Flock aufgehängt. Apparently, the Tuafan man belonged, like the Altaians, Scuthians, and Saka, to the North Asian horse riding peoples. Today, we also frequently make trousers with this binding, like the classical denim jeans we all wear. The third type of binding is much more time consuming. It is the most important discovery of the textile production technique. Why? Das wurde auf eine this was described by the conservators as being a plain twining technique. Plain twining was used in prehistoric Europe for making nets and bags with plant fibers. For example, Utsi had a dagger sheath made from twined lime bast. I tried it like this, but the result did not match the original. It can't be plain twining, but instead some kind of improved form. Looking at the original, you see that the pattern on the front side of the fabric also occurs on the reverse. And my first sample shows a completely different picture on the reverse. I've looked for examples of this technique for a long time. And finally, I found it in New Zealand where this technique is still known. It's used for making plant fiber coats. There it's called tanico. It resembles twining, but it's much more complex than the classical plain twining. With this special technique, you can create large scale patterned fabrics without using complicated weaving instruments. Okay, which were um, the people that were basically here before we got here okay well known to be you know tall fair-skinned um definitely not little fairies this lady putty putty's father was of that clan they lived on top of the mountain up the back here the most sacred all low mountains in the whole area is Nongotaha. the name of their village was called te tuahu which means the um praying place of the gods